Um, basically, um, the, we, I had this Moonpad project and we needed to make an Android app. So I used Phonger before, but it, it's kind of not easy to use. So I asked around and the Meteor was uh, recommended. Meteor with Materialize. I don't know how many of you are familiar with Materialize. It's basically like Bootstrap, but Google's Bootstrap for Android, and it's used. It's gonna be used on all the platforms at least that I say so. So, and it was it was presented as an easy, really easy to use solution. I mean, the Meteor. So we had some really nice features, it's like reactivity is one of them. So basically reactivity or as they call it, there is a lot of buzzwords here. Um, so it's basically the data is connected directly to the uh, code. So every time you change the data, okay I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it later. So it has these uh, features. Uh, so, as I said, reactivity. So, changing the, the data triggers the function. Um, and the data, the triggers are session variables, database queries on collections, meter status, the ready method, user, user ID, and login name. Next, good thing are the live HTML templates. So basically the templates are also connected to the data that they use. So every time you change the data, the template renders. This is an example of a list. Uh, and every time the data name changes for any of these, it loops and creates the template. There is also the latest uh, compensation, that's usability thing, where basically when Meteor sends the code to its server, it already rendered the new template, and then when it gets the uh, uh, response, it just does the diff. The, the default setting for if the server does not respond is to roll back. Uh, So, uh, it basically uses the same packages, or modules as you call them, uh, on, all, uh, on all platforms, on web, on core, on applications. It has some pretty nice drivers. Uh, we, we use uh, Arduino driver to connect to a serial port, and, uh, but you can also, I don't know, you have drivers for bar barcode scanners, or and it has its own library, it's called Atmosphere, and you, you can get all the packages basically for the first time it's there. So it has the library that runs, not the Atmosphere library, but the app that runs on the client side and the command, command line to, uh, on, as I said, on client side, the client side, everything that happens in client side is initialized with meter is uh, The same code is on web page on Android app of iOS app and it has client side rendering. Uh, also it has a local database, client side database. Uh, that when you uh, restart the server or whatever you lose that or a new session, it loses it. But you can ground it so it's basically saved on the client. If the client doesn't have a, a connection, even if you uh, lose a session. So when the re it reconnects to the server, it can communicate. Uh, we needed this for offline use of, uh, of an app. So materialize, as I said, is a uh, uh, it's, it has this modern or more platforms design. 
and it has also a package for Meteor, so you just run it in, uh, in terminal and it, in, it installs. On the server side, uh, basically what the server and the client of Meteor are constantly community, communicating. And it, on the server side, the server side has its own database. Uh, as I said, it's really easy to install. I hope we were discussing yesterday that the answer should have something like this also one day. Um, uh, after the main installation, you get just the web app, so you need to install, install Android SDK or iOS SDK for uh, developing the app. But once you basic, when, once you install SDK, you just connect your phone on the development phone and it generates and you run with your run Android device and it generates a little app and you can debug it on the phone and it syncs all the things with the, uh, with all of the files so you can see what you do. So why Perl? Why do we need NASA? Because Meteor presents itself like it has everything on its server side, client side, API, database. So we wanted at the beginning, we just basically wanted a client side app and a strong, reliable backend. And we didn't want to use just one. I mean, we wanted the flexibility because these. JavaScript things are moving so quickly you don't know what will be popular in or in tomorrow. <laughs> what? 14 days. 14 days. So as I said, it's a new technology, fast developing. Uh, it uses one language principle which so it's JavaScript also on the server side, which it didn't really yet get the time to prove itself. I don't know if any of you use this Java script in some server side, but as I uh, communicated with some people who did, they say it's not really, it's not really stable, and there is also the Mongo database issue. So we created the Dancer app. Uh, I plan to migrate it to Dancer 2 app since there is not a lot of classes on my users since it's just the API. Uh, and the Nginx target and collect. So this is the basic three principle. We have the client side and it communicates the changes to Meteor server which does the Ajax pose to the dancer. Since the client cannot do the direct uh, dancer pose because of the security reasons. So it has to go through the uh, Meteor server, and this was our real use case. It was really interesting since we, we developed Android client with Arduino, and Arduino basically collected uh, data from one of Arduinos. Hmm? From one of the Arduinos, yeah, <laughs> via a radio signal. And then it so this is this application was not meant for everybody to download it and play with it. It was. It was specific looking uh, for some data gathering and and we had a web client for uh, basically admin stuff you know, to edit uh, the data and so on and so on um, so this was really quick um, I actually don't have any more material so Questions? 